Okay, so it's time to learn a new hook. And we're going to learn about effects now. The way we create effects, side effects actually, in React is by using the use effect hook, which is a built-in hook into React that allows you to perform side effects in functional components. Side effects are actions that affect the outside world, such as fetching data from a API, updating the DOM, or subscribing to a event. So what does use effect do? Well, by using this hook, you tell React your component needs to do something after its rendering. React will remember the function you passed, will refer to it as our effect, and then call it later to perform the DOM update. The use effect hook takes two arguments, a function, a function that performs the side effect, like here, and a optional array of dependencies that determine when the effect should be run. The function is executed after the component has rendered and can return a cleanup function then that will be executed when the component is unmounted. The dependency array is used to specify which value the effect depends on. If any of those values change, the effect will be rerun. If your array is empty, the effect will only be run once, like in this example, when the component is mounted. So let's take this example. We're using use effect here to fetch a API, as you can see here, API, example, API data. In this example, the use effect hook, which is right here, is used to fetch data from the API and update the component state. The empty dependencies array ensures that the effect is only run once when the component is mounted. Now we're going to take a real life example. So I'm going to close up the slides and let's go back into Visual Studio Code in our project. And we're going to create a new example in our example folder. So let's do this right now. So back to our project, we're going to go into, let's close everything up here, components. We're going to go into examples and let's create in our examples folder, a new file here and we call it use effect hook.jsx. Okay, that's RFC. Now, two important things. First of all, we need to bring in use effect. You can either bring it in up here as a comma and use effect. And now we have access to the use effect hook from the React library. In most cases, use effect will be run with state because we're actually changing something when we're using use effect. So let's also bring in use state. And let's just recap our pretty simple example of our count. So let's get another const, we're going to add here count and then set count. And we're going to assign this to use state. We're going to assign this the value of zero. Down in our return, you know what? I need to actually go back to our app, go down, down, down where we have our examples. And let's bring in now use effect as a hook, open, close it up. And there we go. We should have now our use effect hook. If you also import it, uh, examples, my list, and let's go here. You should be up here. And these are components. So let me create here another comment components. And up here, we're going to import use effect hook. Okay. So we should see it down here. There we go. I'm going to create again here a style of height. I'm going to assign this the height of 100 viewport heights. Okay, so we can scroll down here. Let's wrap this use effect into an H1. I have caps lock activated. So H1, I'm going to move view in here with the class name of title. Boom. Now I'm going to return here a paragraph tag with a class of card and card dash dot card dash warning and BG danger. Okay, and within here, Going to have you clicked and the count as count once. Okay, there we go. You know what? Also, would need here text light. Text light. Okay, let's add some padding to it. Let's add some padding to it. Padding dash one. Much better. So we have our count zero, which is now brought in using our state. If we change this to one, you already know this. It's going to update the state, but we're not going to change it manually. We need to change it by using then down here, a button with the class of, let's do here, button, class of PTN and PTN. I know what I'm going to do, a dog button, so just PTN. 
Let's hit enter and let's do it on click event. And we just got to pass in here callback function, which is going to call the set count. And we're going to change set count. We're going to change the count to the initial count plus one. Why aren't you in that alert? There we go. You're in the alert and let's click. Let's click here. Okay, so click and we're setting the count. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to go underneath of our title now, create an H2 with a class of subtitle. And we're just going to pass in here a text. And I'm going to go up here, create another const. And let's say text and set text. I'm going to assign this to use state. And the text will be, it's perfect because I'm going to show you how to insert a string. The text will be empty. So just an empty string. And we're going to pass in here the text then using backticks. So backticks, backticks, you're going to be a variable. And let's say you clicked and the number of clicks that we passed in here, let's pass in here zero, you clicked zero times. Now this is not the same number that is here. So what I want to do is when I update this, then this should also update. Now the way we can achieve this is by using use effect. So we brought in use effect. And now let me show you how use effect is activated. Type in use effect, then open and close parentheses. Within here, we're going to create a callback function using an error, a anonymous function using an error function. And then whatever we pass in here will be the call function. So I'm going to pass in here the set text to be updated to whatever the count is. So I could take the count, pass it in here. I just hit save, this meaning that everything was reset. Now, if I click on this once, then it's going to update my count here, okay? Meaning that as soon as this changes, it's going to be passed into our use effect and it's going to update my state of text, as you can see. Also, let's add the text here of times, of course. Now, really important thing, use effect is called as soon as the component is mounted. Basically, the component is rendered, meaning I could use here set text and add here plus one. And if I hit save, you're going to see that this is now one and this is zero. But if I click on this button, it's going to update it to, well, it's going to add one to it. So let me refresh it again. Although the initial state, is zero of set text. When the component is mounted, so when the page is loaded, whatever in use effect is executed is going to be executed first. So this is pretty much what use effect does. It pulls data and shows it to us before we do anything on our page. Okay, so next up, let's do something more interesting with use effect.